We're working on Danny and the Deep Blue Sea, and it's a really interesting two-hander. It's the two characters, Roberta and Danny. And um, these two characters are at their wit's end. They really uh, are ready to sort of end it all. I mean, they're just burning and churning and needing to connect. And they do, and it's quite a roller coaster. It's a little bit, um, John Patrick Shanley describes it as an Apache dance, and there is this push and pull and back and forth, and ultimately these two characters do come together. This came about because of uh, kind of a continuation of the project uh, that we'd done previously, which was uh, Streetcar Named Desire. We were trying to find something that we could both sink our teeth into. Um, we tossed a couple of other plays around, and then this one sort of was on all, everybody's radar. Matt Williamson brought this piece to me and said that he was really looking forward to doing it and that he'd worked with uh, Juliet Landau and John McNaughton before and that he thought it would be a really good team. The process has been fast and furious. We had uh, about three and a half weeks rehearsal, so it's been really just jumping in and completely immersing ourselves, and it's been really fun and really intense. I very much like the idea of just two characters. I mean, coming out of movies or television with all the technology and all that's great, but to me it's really nice just to go down to the bone with two actors and a play like this that is all about going to the, to the bone, to the soul. There's, there's nothing extraneous, no place to hide. It's just about raw human emotion. I love Roberta. She's um, a really complex character. She's a character who has been through immense obstacles and challenges, but carries this glimmer of hope to connect with another human being and to make a better life. These two people are at such a dead end when they um, find each other in this bar that by leaning on each other, they, they, they can make a life. Uh, they, they're, they're, they've run out of options as individuals. I think uh, John Patrick Shanley's writing is timeless. The play was originally performed in 1984 um, and we've kept it in 1984 because um, Shanley stipulates that but it's really a universal piece and it's completely relevant now. I mean the themes and the issues that are explored it, it could be today. You know dive bars and people from bad neighborhoods uh, that that was my youth and uh, I think it's pretty uh, the clothing may change a little bit but it, it, it really isn't it, it's kind of a piece for the ages. It's, it doesn't really put you in a certain time frame. It doesn't say this, you know, anywhere in the play that it takes place in 1984. And I think the the, the characters, the situation, the, the the desperation, and the love that comes out of that desperation is kind of timeless. So. I love working with John McNaughton. He's just the most brilliant director, and he um, he really has a vision for the piece. I've worked with him prior, and every time um, he does this really interesting thing. Sometimes when you're working, where he will in the middle of a rehearsal, you'll, you'll be working on a moment, and then he'll stop and he'll start to tell a story, and you'll be thinking, what, is, what does this story have to do with anything? And then all of a sudden, a light bulb will go off, and you'll go, oh, I get it. I get what he wants here, and it'll be this indirect story that's from some personal experience in his life, and it just adds this richness and sparks an idea that takes the scene in a different direction. I like to not dictate, but, but uh, ask. Well, what do you think? How would your character, you know, in this situation, how would your character behave? You know, sometimes I dictate to some degree, uh, often the way I hear things, but emotionally, I, I think it's more of asking, how would your character uh, react in this situation? How, do, how does your character feel? When is your character built up enough emotion now to stand up and walk over there? You know, I, I, I don't uh, like to... Uh, push the actors around. I have learned a lot doing this role. I feel like everything I work on, I, I really learn always. Um, it, you learn about yourself and your craft and, um, and getting to do a play is always wonderful because you live with a character for a long time in the run of a play and also you sort of get information from an audience in terms of what they need from the character and it informs your performance. I hope that the audience finds the romance of this piece because it's a it's a dark and dangerous story and yet it's very comic and within all that there's this underlying hope for these two misfit characters to find love or at least the hope of love in their lives what you always hope for is that the audience will continue to think about it to talk about it to be moved and interested in these people and to reflect on how it relates to their lives.